Alright, so the next part we're going to do is go back to the player again and go back to the trigger on the play state, the, active, uh, the activate play. And for this, this time around, um, what we currently did was just do a simple on trigger and it does something to it. If you want to have more control over what can actually happen with it, what we want to do is go to our trigger activate state. And we're going to say that it needs triggered uh, by the you need to actually touch it and then like all the other ones if you want to uh, if you want to interact with it you have an input so we'll say it's going to be trigger and input and when you go to that you're going to have an option that is activate by button and no deactivating meaning that if I go over to the player and I touch the player and then activate him he can go do stuff and you can't deactivate by pushing the button but if you have it turned off that means that you can actually push the button and it'll go back to the other player. All right. So what we could say is that when you do this one, uh, how about we say this is off, so we'll say enable this player after done. Uh, we'll do the after enable other player um, after things are done with it. All right, and then we just want to set up the other one to be the same way. That way we can bounce back and forth. But remember, you can do it where it's just one. So, for instance, if you were, if your intention was to have the player only go to one spot, um, you could actually set it up so that each time the player goes from here, he's going to another character, to another character, uh, and you don't ever actually go back to the other, uh, to the original characters. All right. So we'll turn this one on here, and then we'll make sure the activate uh, by trigger and input is set for the trigger activate option and let's go ahead and push play on this one so this time around remember if it if you're using the standard uh, input key it's going to be E on the keyboard or it's going to be the Y on the joystick so if I go over it and this time around if I decide you know I can touch him nothing's going to happen but if I go up to him and then I push E then I'm interacting with this character so at this point this character can move around and do things but if I push E now all of a sudden it, it goes back it reverts back to the other character so at this point you can do something similar to a lot of games where they're going to have a, uh, uh, an interaction where one character can make it through somewhere and then you have to go back and forth to have this character crawl over somewhere and uh, trigger a state and then give uh, the ability back over to this character to do something else. So you can switch back and forth that way with them. Alright, so that'll be the kind of the basics on that one and then we'll, we'll do another video to cover the next part.